morning. I'm the Reverend Jenny Hayward, Associate Minister of St John Baptist Clowns and St George's Worcester, UK. We are in the season of Lent and the theme for our service this morning are perseverance and hope. I know that many people like me have found this third lockdown much more difficult than the previous two. We want to see our loved ones and friends and live something like a normal life. Perseverance is an old fashioned word, one my grandma used a lot when I, as a child, was prone to giving things up that I'd started if I found them too difficult. And hope is something we should all have that this will be the final lockdown and that lessons learnt during it of resilience, kindness and tenacity will all contribute to the making of the world and this country in particular a more equal and better place. So let us pray. The world belongs to God, the earth and all its people. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Holy God, maker of us all, have mercy on us. Jesus Christ, servant of the poor, have mercy on us. Holy Spirit, breath of life, have mercy on us. Move among us, O God, give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Make our hearts clean within us. Renew us in body, mind and spirit. Give us the joy of your help and with your spirit sustain us. And so with all people we affirm that we are made in God's image. We affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, that it is planted more deeply than all that is wrong with all, and with all creation we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God forever at work, at ourselves and in the world. And so we have some verses from a modern translation of Psalm 72, which is very relevant to our time. Give to your leaders good judgment, O God, and a sense of what is right for all. May they govern your people with justice and do right for those that are powerless. May they defend the poor and save the children of those that are needy. May justice flower in their days and peace till the moon is no more. Although that was written a very long time ago, it has great relevance to our time as now. And our Gospel reading comes from St Luke, chapter 15, verses 8 to 10. And it is a story of perseverance and hope. Jesus said, if a woman had ten silver coins and loses one of them, does she not light the lamp, sweep out the house and look in every corner till she finds it? And when she does, she calls her friends and neighbours together and says, Rejoice with me, for I have found the coin that was lost. This story is a parable. That is, it's a story with more than one meaning and Jesus told a lot of those. Parables, stories with more than one meaning, had a long history, going back long before Jesus, 
and he was just restoring it and using it for his own purposes. There are a number of ways of looking at this story. In Jesus' day, women, when they were married, were given silver coins, which were often worn attached to the front of their veil or headdress. To lose one was both a disgrace and a disaster. It was the equivalent of today's wedding ring and very precious. It's no wonder that the woman in the story searched diligently until she found it. This is one of my favourite Bible stories and it has something to say to us in this Lenten season. Lent gives us the opportunity to see what we have lost in our own lives. Not tangible things. In my mature years, I'm always looking for things that I've put down and can't remember where they are, but intangible things, like our relationships with others. Perhaps something we should have put right a long time ago, or our relationship with God. The woman in our story persevered with her search in hope until she found what she had lost. Lent gives us the opportunity to see what we have lost in our own lives and to persevere in our search for it in the hope that whatever personally we have mislaid, so to speak, perhaps our relationship with God, for instance, might be found and restored. The God of heaven has made a home on earth. Christ dwells among us, is one with us. Christ journeys with the rejected and welcomes the weary. Come now, all who thirst and drink the water of life. Come now, all who hunger and be filled with good things. Come now, all you who yearn for love. Find true love in a loving God. O God of life, of all life and each life, from whom nothing is hidden, you are before us, you are behind. You are around us, you are within. You know the secret thoughts of every heart. We bring the faith that is in us and the doubt. We bring the joy that is in us and the sorrow. We bring the knowledge that is in us and the ignorance. We bring the hope that is in us and the despair. O God of life, renew us with your life, today, tomorrow and always. Amen. Perhaps wherever you are, you would like to join me in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. And we shall end our service with that well-known hymn, The Lord's My Shepherd.
set your blessing on us, O Lord, as we begin this day. We ask not for what we want, but for what you know we need. And we offer ourselves to you through Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. <laughs> 